pack Stephen full of all of my excess berries. <laughs> he can be our fridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's Stephen weird that you fridge. can like put things inside animals and then take them back out again. <laughs> He's like a reverse Tonton. He's colder on the inside. <laughs> yeah. Which must mean he smells nice on the inside too. Mm. Right, so I guess when the morning comes, we should uh, mm -hmm. do some exploration. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. Take these long legs for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> so what... Are there any specific dinosaurs that you're interested in that you want to see, or other animals that aren't dinosaurs? Well, you know that I really wanted to see the Leeds Ichthys, but I'm really worried that it's not going to be in this um, map now. The Leeds Ichthys is in this map. <gasps> well, that's my end goal. What creatures are you looking forward to seeing? Because I mean, I mean, again, people who watch these videos know I work on fish. I don't know if they know. I don't know if they know um, what you work on yet. Is there anything in particular that you're? Oh, there we go. Hoping to see. So I work on marine reptiles, so the sea is ah. a good place for me as well. So what we can do, which would be kind of fun, uh, maybe for later when we're like not so squishy, um, <laughs> is to make a boat and see if we can attract the lead zikthes. Because the one thing that the lead zikthes does, they're not not aggressive to if you just swim in the water, but uh -huh. <laughs> if you're on a boat, they will destroy it. <laughs> That's excellent. And it is a terrifying experience. <laughs> I want to live through that. That sounds great. Yeah, so I'm sure we can yeah. do that. Because that's it. There are very, very few games that actually feature any of the fish that I work on. Very few of my fishes have any presence in pop culture at all, to be honest, apart from Lee Dixie's. Uh, basically, there are a group of extinct ray-finned fishes called Pachycormids, and a couple of them evolved into gigantic suspension feeders, kind of like your modern day baleen whales. It was probably like the biggest bony fish that ever lived, like 10 meters long. That's awesome. So you need a spear. Okay. So go grab the spear engram and you'll need some yep. flint and uh, wood. Oh. I've got a little present for you. Here you go. That's what I've always wanted. You oh, can it's try amazing. and uh, shoot this dodo. All right, hold on. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Yes. Nice. <laughs> First try. <laughs> and to harvest, just use your hatchet and uh, whack it. Ah, good. Just as nature intended. <laughs> uh, oh, can I now craft fancy new clothing? Yeah, you should be able to. So you should have, um, I believe it's hide armor, should be uh, available. Um, so, while I get dressed, <laughs> what's the plan for today? <laughs> so, I think to start off with, you should make a sleeping bag and place it in the base so that if you die, you can... Um, Respawn. Okie doke. Um, and then we should head out and try not to get murdered by raptors. Alright. Yeah, this is really good. This is exactly what I needed. Just someone to tell me what to do. And already we are like surrounded by a million creatures. <laughs> oh, and it's raining. Uh, and it's raining, of course. Question is do we dare to cross the river or shall we go upstream? Ooh. Um. Let me have a quick. I'll have a quick look to see what it's There's what's going on in here. There's a camp down there. Oh my gosh, there is! Oh my god, we're in it. Where are we at? Oh my god, <laughs> that actually looks pretty like accurate. Like the face is a bit weird, but like they've got the like fins and everything. Perfect. Yeah, the oh, tail like fin it. is. Oh. Oh, dog's dying. Uh, I am now carrying a fish. You sure are. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wonder if we can like hop across here or something. Is that like, a... hmm? I think we better just chance it. I think we just rush. Just, just rush. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Should we go and uh, have a look at that beautiful brontosaurus over there? Oh, for sure. Oh, I can just see it in like the mist. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh wow. Brontosaurus is one of those things where like there was a possibility that it might not be its own distinct genus, that it might just get absorbed into a Patasaurus. Yeah. And I remember when, like, QI and all these shows, like, the headline was, Brontosaurus wasn't real! <laughs> and I still get people asking me today, is it true that Brontosaurus was fake? And it's like, oh, oh no, it just was briefly considered, um, you know, an invalid genus. It's fine, don't worry. It's still real. It's still ex The animals still existed separately of each other. Just a different That was one name. of the most... Yeah, it was one of the most frustrating things. It wasn't that long ago that they basically resurrected Brontosaurus again. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah like, um, it's now its own thing again. But people don't know that. They just know that it might be fake. <laughs> the people made it up. All right, let's I'm just letting you lead the way, by the way. Yeah, yeah. let's uh, continue mm -hmm. into the mist. Yeah. What are we looking for, by the way, on this walk? Is there anything I should be, like, grabbing as we go? Or is there anything that we're looking for? No, nothing are in particular, we just, just uh... We're just exploring. Oh, oh, about to get attacked by compies. Ah, ah. When? <laughs> Jesus! That is definitely like a Jurassic Park like thing. Oh, that, totally. like Consignathes are like a pack hunter that like attack in swarms. I don't think there's any evidence for that, but it's just taken as true now. <laughs> which yeah. is so strange. It's just like the Dilophosaurus here spits. Oh, does it really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when um, names like uh, Compi like, started being a thing, though. Jurassic Park, but, it must have is been. It, is it again just Jurassic Park? I, I so. always find that really interesting. Like, um, like Quetzalcoatlus will be shot into like Quetzal, or like, yeah. yeah. Com a Compi is definitely the most common one I see. I always wonder, like, where, who started that? <laughs> oh, some things that um, is quite hilarious is I've had quite a few discussions with some of my friends that play Ark in how to pronounce dinosaur names. Oh, cool. <laughs> or non-dinosaur mm -hmm. names. Like the the, yeah. the Quetzalcoatlus. Whether it should be pronounced mm -hmm. Quetzalcoatlus or Quetzalcoatlus. Yep. Yeah. I'm never sure of how to pronounce anything and my general attitude is like, I know what you mean like 99% of the time I'm going to like assume that that is you're referring to the giant pterosaur. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no real like you know it's fine, and people who get really hung up on those things, what are you doing? Just leave let people do their thing. It's fine. Yeah. Like Dinonychus and what is it? Di yeah. Dinonychus. Dinonychus. Yeah. Or there was oh my god, what's that guy's name? Brian Ford, who has the whole aquatic dinosaur theory. Oh, yeah. He had that interview where he was like, um, it's uh, from the Greek, so it's tri uh, triceratops, not triceratops. Oh. Shut up, Brian. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Call it whatever I like. <laughs> Should we explain the aquatic dinosaur theory a little bit? Oh my god. So there is actually a game on itch.io which is based on that book. <laughs> and really? I really want to play it. I would really love to do that video at some point because, yeah, there was just a time a few years ago where this random guy was just insisting that dinosaurs were all aquatic despite trace fossils and... Uh, just overwhelming evidence that jet dinosaurs lived on land. But we do have so, one aquatic dinosaur here. And oh, it yeah? is right in front of us. The only oh, shoot. one. Oh, snap, of course. Hello. This guy. <laughs> this one. And it's quadrupedal. They fixed it. Oh, 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 no, we're going to be attacked. Run, oh. run, run. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know what vibe. I'm just going to run. <laughs> <laughs> run this Can way. I... Okay. Right. Oh, no, it's, it's distracted. Cool. Let's just... What just happened? Study it from a safe distance. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so did, did you say they actually changed it? They updated the design? Yes, they did. So um, wow. when it was originally made, it was bipedal and partially quadrupedal. Like, gotcha. It could like run quadrupedally, but it would stand bipedally. But now it's completely quadrupedal and it like properly swims in water, which is kind of cool. And it gets like a speed bonus in water as well. That is actually quite neat that they updated it. Yeah, it is actually. I think mm. they've, they've done that with a few dinosaurs, um, but the Spino was definitely like the going towards a more accurate representation mm. of the dinosaur. I've seen a lot of people asking for Animal Crossing to update their Spinosaurus as well. It's one of those dinosaurs, though, that I have such a dislike for because it always just changes and it dominates so much, like... Like, we could publish a paper today. We just write it in, like, a minute of just, like, a new speculative ecology about Spinosaurus. <laughs> yeah. 
I, th I think it gobbles up too much attention sometimes, but I do like that the developers of Ark actually changed it. That is, that is good. It is kind of following us though. Uh, here's a third officer. Should we make it spit? <laughs> if you really want to, I'm not going anywhere near it. Come on, spit at me. <laughs> Why aren't you spitting? Oh, oh, what are these things? Uh, Hesperonis? Oh shoot. I know you. Yeah. I love its little walk. It's that walk almost put key. Steven to shame. Oh, is it? Just, oh, it's actually attacking us. Oi! I was admiring you. I don't really know that much about them. But they're like a Mesozoic bird that, unlike modern birds, had yeah. teeth, right? Like. Oh, I was just oh. trying to. I was trying to scare it. Hey, what's that? Um, kind of beam of light in the distance. Ah, what's that let's about? Let's go and check it out. All right. <laughs> it is a very beautiful game though. I love the the water and the like the forest. I love like hanging around the beach because I think that's and the different biomes like you've got redwoods and snowy oh, really? areas. Yeah, we're heading towards mm. redwoods now by the way. That's really nice. Oh, this is a beaver. Oh, hello. <laughs> giant beaver. That's awesome. I always forget that there were like giant beavers in the place this scene. <laughs> Ooh. Excellent. Oh, another one of your friends. No oh, look out. Oh, they... Ah! Oh, yeah. I got spat on! It's, they got you. <laughs> oh, what? Can't... Oh, you taped it! I didn't... I didn't... <laughs> and then where? We what it. the hell? <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's possessed! A little buggy. I was oh, well. freaking out so much, right? Where, what did I tame? Because I suddenly ended up on the menu to name it. And so it was briefly named like WASD because I was trying to get away. <laughs> I was trying to flee. Ooh, we've oh. got uh, something that we call giraffes in ARC language, but this is... It's a Paris um, theorem, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, snakes. Ooh, that is... Snakes, Titanoboa, oh my heading God. our way. I was... Let's, uh... <laughs> right, we'll avoid let's, that for a let's second. Let's kill that. There we go. I want to talk about Paris Theorem because I find them really amazing. This one is a way too big, <laughs> like phenomenally are they not big. This big. They are. I didn't know that. They are a little smaller, but they are the biggest mammal that ever lived. I think they're bigger than the, any biggest um, uh, mammoths or anything like that. And it's. I find this really interesting. So, oh, watch it bit me. Get away! I'm trying to <laughs> teach people about. <laughs> so. Oh, we got another one incoming. Ah. <laughs> I love my spear though. Okay. Paris Theorem is not this big. Ah! <laughs> okay. Attacked by <laughs> literally everything. Can't stand still for a minute. Bugs this time. Okay. I'm gonna just. Before I start lecturing, I need to do like a point check to like. 360 turn around, make sure there's nothing charging at me. They were not this big. And the reason why they were not this big is, I think, really funny. Sauropods were able to get like this size and bigger because they have like bird-like hollow bones. Mammals do not have hollow bones. Our bones are very heavy. And so I don't think a mammal of this size would last very long. I think it would probably like collapse under its own weight. I feel so- oh it's licking the tree, that's good. Um, but <laughs> I need to- uh... I've got so much raw meat on me. Oh, there's a little dimorphodon. Hello buddy. Oh, Dimorphodon? Yeah. Where am I at? Oh, cool. They were found by Marianne, weren't they? Dimorphodon, I think. Well, the holotype was, at least. It is, so. I, yeah. Yeah, because I always find that really neat that, like, she's more known for, like, you know, your ichthyosaurs and stuff. Um, and seashells. But no, I'm pretty, I'm fairly certain that that's from, from Dorset, from the Len Regis. Well, the green beacon disappeared, never mind. Oh, what was, what so, was it then, anyway? So the green beacons, they're basically loop drops. So Ooh. depending on the colour, they'll give you loop for certain levels. So white mm -hmm. and green are like the earlier levels, and then it goes sort of blue, yellow, red, or red, yellow. I can't quite remember, but purple oh, as well. There's one that way. Oh, yeah, we, we, try can, and get to that we one? can try and get to that one. Let's uh, see if we can cross over here. Back! Foul creature. Oh, my thing just died. Just punching it. Oh god. Oh, oh no. no. You what happens now? In theory, respawn close to me. Okay, I will. I will try. 
There you go. And you just have to go pick up your stuff. Oh no, it's in the water. All right, one sec. Whoop. Yep, I just teleported to you. Yeah, <laughs> oh, my poor corpse. You. Is there like a take all option? Yeah, there should be. Uh, I don't see it. I'm just gonna double click. Oh, here we go. Come here, Piranha. Oh no, he's gone for you. No, no. No, I was meant to be the bait. <laughs> Oh, I'm okay, drowning. Oh. Try one more time. Okay. Ah, chance Oh, there we go. Thank God. Phew. I nearly had a little drown there as well. Oh, uh, snake. Snake. Oh, heck. <laughs> snake. No, don't go after me. Go after Aubrey now. <laughs> so these guys wow. um, knock you out. Um, oh, shoot. That's, okay. That's their, like, thing. Uh, Mm -hmm. Ah! Another one! Oh no, 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 I'm gonna be knocked out. <laughs> I, I tried. <laughs> I tried to be heroic. I'm knocked out. <laughs> oh gosh. At least you spawned next to me. All I was trying to do was put my t shirt back on. <laughs> okay. Access inventory. Transfer all. Oh look, I've grown a beard since last time. That's cool. Actually, I've had a good look at myself. Like, ah, oh, I didn't notice that. All right, I'll defend your unconscious body from snakes, I guess. 